What is behavioral therapy? Behavioral therapy uh, encompasses a range of assessment and treatment procedures to evaluate problematic behaviors and their relationship to the environment, develop and implement treatment plans, and assess outcomes. These are mainly focused on changing observable behavior. Now, principles of behavioral therapy. Number one, maladaptive behaviors are required through learning according to the same principles that govern the, learning, uh, govern the learning of adaptive behavior. Behavior is significantly influenced by the environment through classical conditioning, operant conditioning, and observational learning. Second, learning principles can be used to modify maladaptive behavior. The same principles that guide the uh, uh, evolution of maladaptive behaviors can be used to change them. Third, the focus of treatment is on factors that maintain the current behavior rather than on historical issues. Fourth, the therapist should be knowledgeable about scientific literature relevant to the patients they treat. That is, techniques may vary depending upon the particular patient. If the therapist uh, believes that a particular technique is not working for the patient, he might change his way. Fifth is, it is important to set specific measurable treatment goals and measure outcomes. Setting goal uh, helps to shape a treatment plan, that is, which behaviors need to be targeted in what order, and to define whether or not treatment has been effective. Now, techniques of behavioral therapy. Uh, number one, functional analysis of the behavior. The therapist study the relationship between the client's behavior and the conditions and events in his or her environment. The analysis is often described in ABC terms as follows, antecedents, behavior, and consequences. Antecedents are discriminative stimuli, which act as cues for the individual, signaling when the rewards are available, and what particular behavior is likely to be reinforced. For example, a stressful situation is an antecedent, behavior is smoking, and a, a reduced tension is the consequence. Now, case conceptualization. Uh, first, we do a functional assessment of the target problems by recognizing the ABCs. Then we develop a causal link between them and then we investigate the patient history. This allows for developing a case conceptualization that connects all the information from the assessment and provides a strategy for developing an integrated intervention. This allows one to treat multiple disorders concurrently and provides guidelines for understanding and managing patient behaviors that seem to interfere with the process of treatment. Uh, for example, uh, a patient with coexisting depression and anxiety disorder might be conceptualized according to their core schemas for both the disorders. For example, a patient with significant depression might have developed an early maladaptive schema of 
abandonment and rejection resulting in persistent thoughts and interpretation of situations such as i am unlovable no one cares about me these patients might be uh, as will be conceptualized having poor behavioral deficits in the form of uh, poor communication and assertive skills as well as behavioral avoidance to environmental pressures resulting in sad and anxious mood the core difficulties are then examined in the form of predisposing precipitating and maintaining factors now we discuss the types of behavioral therapies number 1 operant conditioning operant conditioning is a form of learning in which behavior is maintained or changed through consequences in situations involving operant conditioning the probability that a given response will occur changes depending upon the consequences that follow psychologists generally agree that these probabilities are determined through four basic procedures two of which strengthen or increase the behavior uh, that is a positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement and two of which weaken or decrease the rate of behavior that is a uh, negative punishment and positive punishment reinforcement is a contingent event that strengthens the response that precedes it for example a child is given a candy when he or she smiles the child then smiles again contingency refers to the relationship between a behavior and the events that follow now identifying positive and negative reinforcers positive reinforcers are events which when contingent to a certain response increase the likelihood that the response will be repeated by the individual and negative reinfo uh, reinforcers these are events that increase the likelihood of a response when the termination is contingent on the response Uh, example uh, an event that is a positive reinforcer for one individual for example a smile or hug may not be rewarding at all for the another person the operant therapist must learn to see reinforcement contingencies through the eyes of the individual often by directly observing the effects of various events on the client's behavior and the second is extension extension takes place when the reinforcement for a particular response is withdrawn and reinforce the behavior usually stops for example a 20 year old woman had a neurodermatitis on her neck and medical treatments had failed to resolve the problem a functional analysis of her situation showed that she received attention from her family members whenever uh, she scratched her neck the psychologist instructed everyone around her to ignore the scratching and when they did the scratching cease and the dermatitis disappeared differential reinforcement uh, this consists of giving positive reinforcement for desired behaviors and withholding it in their absence for autistic uh, in autistic children this behavior is aimed at ex extinguishing specific undesirable autistic behavior such as hand tapping or hand pulling sometimes these behaviors are extinguished by withholding attention or sweets reinforcers such as frosted flakes are made contingent on certain specific non autistic behaviors such as uh, appropriate speech and social interaction now shaping shaping is a technique in which closer and closer approximation of desired behavior are required for the delivery of positive reinforcement these procedures have produced significant improvements in speech and social interaction in autistic, autistic children for example Uh, अगर कोई बच्चा है जिसको थेरेपिस्ट ने बोला कि वर्ड प्रोन्स करने के लिए दिया तो उसके इनिशियल जो इनिशियल अटेम्प्ट थे दे वर इम्परफेक्ट तो द चाइल्ड विल बी गिवन एप्रिसिएशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्वीट्स और एनीथिंग एंड फिर जैसे जैसे वो आगे होगा उसका मतलब इम्प्रूव होता जाएगा तो दैट विल बी शेपिंग एंड डिसएडवाटेजेस ऑटिस्टिक यंगस्टर्स वो लीव द ट्रीटमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड गो इन टू द सेटिंग दैट डू नॉट हैव दिस ऑपरेन प्रोसीजर्स ऑफन लूज मेनी ऑफ द इम्प्रूवमेंट्स दे हैव शो टोकन इकोनॉमी token economy programs are a formalized method of contingency management often used in adult and in patient settings day treatment programs and classrooms achievement of behavior goal leads to acquisition of tangible rewards for example snacks poker chips that can be redeemed for prizes or privileges such as time off the ward or home visit privileges non compliance does not result in privileges or rewards some programs include a provision called response box it is a form of punishment which is the removal or withdrawal of a reward following inappropriate or problem behavior for example finding a child for swear token economy is uh, used in children also in patients with schizophrenia for example in this a child uh, 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 is given task such as to sit speak and interact properly and uh, if he does all of this he is given tokens and for uh, it, uh, he can matlab uh, woh reward le sakte hai koi bhi in the form of uh, tv time or anything punishment uh, punishment aims to weaken or decrease the rate of a behavior there are ethical issues regarding the use of punishment for example uh, there there was a 9 month old infant who was seriously threatened by persistent vomiting and chronic chewing of the vomited food several treatments including dietary changes administration of anti nausea drugs and various mechanical maneuvers to improve feeding had been tried without success punishment was applied as a last resort electromyographic findings revealed increased activity of the baby's mouth and throat uh, muscles just before the vomiting a painful electric shock was administered contingent on these mouth and throat movements and was continued until the vomiting stopped 
success was achieved within uh, one week and the punishment led to suppression of the vomiting response. After the vomiting and chewing stopped, baby gained weight and showed great increased activity in social response. Now, covert sensitization. In this technique, unwanted behavior is imagined together with its imaginary punishing consequences. For example, an alcoholic is trained to imagine drinking and then its consequences such as vomiting or being fired from his job. The advantage of this technique is that it can be used anywhere and anytime and may also be used as a self-therapy to keep things under control between the interval of this with therapists. Now, second is classical conditioning. Uh, in this we do systematic desensitization, which is a procedure in which relaxation and present feelings are learned as conditioned responses to stimuli that once acted as fear producing. For example, a person experiences distress in specific situations such as public speaking or in the presence of specific stimuli such as snakes or spiders. The person may feel fearful and the person's body may show responses such as muscle tension and a pounding heart. Now, we do a progressive muscle uh, relaxation. People are trained to alternatively flex and relax their muscles so as to gain control over the relaxation response. Another way of teaching relaxation is called autogenic training. The client's attention is focused on specific parts of the body together with such mental images such as heaviness and warmth. This is an example of uh, muscle relaxation. For example, you can ask the patient to tense their arms and release them, tense their shoulders and chest to and then release them, tense their legs and then release them. Now, relaxation is not compatible with the kinds of bodily activity involved in fear and anxiety. That is, we cannot be both relaxed and tense at the same time. Thus, the fear and anxiety weaken if the client remains relaxed. The principle involved is reciprocal inhibition. At any point when fear threatens to overcome the relaxation, the client signals the therapist by raising a finger, for example, at these points, additional uh, relaxation instructions may be given and they may be paired with the weaker items in the fear hierarchy. So that is why systematic desensitization has a uh, upper hand than flooding. This we can, uh, uh, the, the patient has the option to uh, stop the procedure. Uh, the patient has an escape. This is a cockroach anxiety hierarchy model from least fair to most fair. For example, uh, Initially, the uh, patient is uh, uh, fearful of even hearing the cockroach uh, name in the classroom, then uh, seeing, an, uh, seeing a television for a cockroach spray, then seeing a cockroach run across the sidewalk 10 yards ahead of them, then to the most fair, the opening the dormitory room and seeing the cockroach, cockroaches everywhere, then waking up in the middle of the night and finding the cockroach in the hair, and finding a cockroach swimming in the morning coffee after they have finished their cup. Now flooding. Flooding, a person suffering from a specific fear may be. Uh, so we progressively uh, desensitize the patients. So, we have to thought that uh, there is a fear, a cockroach, imagine that cockroach. So then we expose them progressively. Flooding. A person suffering from a specific fear may be forced to confront the fear eliciting stimulus without any avenue of escape. For example, a therapist may persuade a person who has an irrational fear of heights to walk into a high bridge and may keep the person there for a while under careful supervision. Because no harm results from this experience, the person may eventually become less fearful of heights. Evolution therapy. It is objective. Uh, its objective is not to undo the fear or revulsion, but to induce such feelings specifically in relation to stimuli that trigger unwanted behavior. For example, alcoholics may be given a drug that causes prolonged and severe nausea and vomiting or that produce feeling of terror and suffocation. They are told to smell and sip their favorite drink. The idea is to condition the alcoholic to feel nausea and panic when exposed to the sight, smell or taste of the most tempting forms of alcohol. Disadvantage is that the conditioned aversion response is extinguished unless conditioning ses uh, sessions are repeated frequently. Now, third is observational learning. Here we uh, teach the patient mod uh, here modern techniques. Uh, these provide information on how of the behavior, the specific steps by which others are able to perform it. It gives evidence on the doableness of the behavior. The fact that others can do it helps it demystify the behavior and makes it less frightening and encourages the belief that I can do it too. Uh, the key factors in observational learning are attention, the extent to which we focus on others' behavior, then retention, our ability to retain a representation of others' behavior in the memory, then production processes, our ability to act on these memory representations, and then motivation, the usefulness to us of the information acquired, result in observational learning, that is acquisition of 
acquisition of and later action on new information behaviors or concept demonstrated by others its applications observational learning may contribute to the development of unhealthy behaviors including smoking especially among adolescents acceptance by peers is intensely important to person in the age group so it is possible that observing peers who smoke contributes to adolescents own decision to start smoking then in one recent study by woods cadbury and wolby examined whether mildly retarded children enrolled in a regular classroom would acquire skills by having their non handicapped peers model the skills for them the skills included spelling their name using a calculator to perform simple arithmetic and sharpening a pencil the students were required to master performance on one set of tasks before moving on to the next step in the chain through this procedure each participant acquired useful skills in a relatively short period of time so these are my references आपको टाइम से कोई भी 
टाइम आउट यूजली टीचर्स यूज करते हैं क्लासरूम में बच्चों के वो बच्चे को किसी खाली एक रूम में बिठा सकते हैं पे कोई फैसिलिटीज नहीं प्ले मतलब एक रूम में एक साइड में जगह होना चाहिए जहाँ पे एक चेयर में उसको वॉल की तरफ फेस करके बिठा सकते हैं उसको
अभी मेरे पास एक केस था मतलब वो गैस प्लांट वाले को मिला था उसको रिसर्च भी चला था और कोई बात नहीं था जब भी वो खाना खाता था तो मतलब टाइम बता रहा है उसको क्या कुछ उसको मेरे साथ उसको करना ही पड़ेगा ना वो टेंशन है उसको लेने पड़ेगा गैस उसको लेने पड़ेगा एक्शन करना पड़ेगा क्या है जब भी उसको लेने पड़े� पहले तो वो ऐसे करे जिनको दो तीन मार्च की ब्रीदिंग टीम ब्रीदिंग करके होल्ड करके उसके बाद जब खाना खाए तो करे धीरे धीरे फिर खाना खा लेते हैं पहले पानी ठंडा लगता है ना एकदम से तो उसके बाद लेकिन वो ठंडा वाली फीलिंग चली जाती है 
वैसे थोड़ा देर में तो फील होगी लेकिन जब फील करता रहेगा तो वो फील चली जाएगी उसको कोई ग्राफ बना के खड़ा बोला मुझे ग्राफ बना देना कि एनजाइटी टेंपरेचर रेट लिमिटेड है तो 10 15 मिनट रहते हैं और 10 15 मिनट पर वो केमिकल खत्म होने वाले हैं तो देखो 10 15 मिनट एनजाइटी सेल तो निकले तभी तो लीज सोलेक्स हो जाए पहले दिन होता है लीज एनजाइटी जैसे मतलब उसको लीज होता है रेटिंग ना दे मैं ओपनिंग नहीं करता हूं अपने के टीम का एंड मतलब पेशेंट्स कर लेते हैं तीन चार टाइम तीन चार ऊपर चले जाते हैं और जो अच्छे पेशेंट होते हैं वो एनर्जी बना के आते हैं 10 मिनट तो लगते हैं अगर अच्छे से करना तो भाई उसको तो फायर चार्ज कर लो मैं थेरेपी सेशन तो फायर चार्ज 25 मिनट पर मैं सिर्फ दो थेरेपी करता हूं पूरे ईयर में और जो मेरे को लगता है कि फॉलो करते हैं तो मैं टेली ले अपने थेरेपी एक पेशेंट को यहां भी करता हूं बट इट्स ऑफ कोर्स चार्जेस भी लेता है यहां चार्जेस नहीं तो मतलब आप लोग सीखो वैसे करो सिर्फ मैं दो ही पेशेंट लूं चाहे एडमिट लूं चाहे डीबीट लूं चाहे गया टोटल में टू वर्ड मतलब वो फिर सेशंस कर देता हूं
Thank you. 